Welcome to Hydroponic for Beginners. This is a record of my first attempt at building a hydroponic system. This is part one. The items that you'll need are some net pots. I use six and got them from eBay for about a dollar a piece. The next thing you'll need is an 18 gallon stirrite tote, which I picked up at Lowe's for around five bucks. Also at Lowe's, I found an inch and an eighth OD by five eighths ID grommet uh, for about a buck. Also a half inch PVC tube elbow uh, for about a buck. Also at Lowe's. Some black irrigation tube. I got about five miles at Lowe's for six bucks. Uh, I picked up about four feet of half inch clear tube at Lowe's also for about five bucks. Um, then I swung over to Walmart and picked up a aquarium pump and a air stone for about 20 bucks. The other things you'll need are plants. I used basil, cherry tomatoes, and cucumbers, clay pellets, or other grow media. Uh, nutrients. And I picked up the nutrients in the clay pellets at a hydroponic store. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to drill a drain hole about an inch up from the bottom. That's a 7H diameter drain hole. Um, and uh, the next thing you're going to do is deburr the hole. You want you don't want any burrs around this hole. Uh, I just deburred it by scraping my fingernail around the edges and taking off the sharp edges. Uh, if this has burrs, uh, after you install the grommet, it may leak. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is install the grommet in the hole. Uh, this grommet has a groove around the edges which will actually snap into the hole in the sterite tote. Um, it should be a nice tight fit. Uh, okay, after installing the grommet, uh, you're going to push in the elbow. Uh, this is going to go in a little bit hard, so when you're pushing in, you're going to have to twist back and forth. Uh, if you need to, you can always use some silicone grease to get that to slide in. Uh, once the elbow's in place, you'll flip the tote over, and you're going to drill a hole in the step in the tote directly under the elbow. Uh, this is going to be a place for your uh, drain hose and your gauge hose to fit into. Um, so, after you've done that, you're going to measure up from the elbow uh, up to the step in the tote. It was about 12 inches on mine, um, so then I added one inch, and I'm going to cut the tubing off to 13 inches. Um, that will allow the tube to run up inside of the tote uh, past the step but not interfere with the cover. Um, so here I am cutting the tube with my tubing cutter. Uh, you can use a razor knife or a pair of shears. Um, it does cut a little bit hard but um, you'll figure out how to do it. Uh, once you've got it cut off to the right length you can just slide it onto the elbow uh, making sure it's on nice and tight. Uh, if this goes on hard, you can always use silicone grease. I did not have to. Uh, then you just slide the tube into the hole that's directly above it in the step. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to lay out a pattern for your net pots. Um, I am using a circle cutter, so I'm marking the center of the net pots if you're not going to use a circle cutter if you're going to use like a razor knife or something like that you may want to trace around the net pots um, this this might work out better for you so I marked the centers uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill the holes for my circle cutter once the holes are pre-drilled um, you're going to cut out the holes the holes that you cut out are going to be a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch smaller diameter than the top of the net pot. This is going to allow the net pot to sit flush uh, and flat on top of your lid and um, not fall through. As you can see here, here, my first cut was not perfect, but luckily the net pot covered it up. Uh, but I did learn a lesson. <clears throat> so. What you're seeing here is I'm cutting a starter slot with my hole saw, with my hole maker, and um, 
Then I'm taking some tape and I'm putting over the slot. And what this is going to do is keep the slug from coming loose when the hole is almost complete. And uh, what that does if the, if the slug comes loose is your hole saw is not supported anymore and it causes a problem. So... You want your holes as close to the shape of the net pot as possible so light does not get inside your tote uh, and cause algae growth. So I'm just finishing up the last hole here. Um, then I'm going to deburr the holes using sandpaper. And all this is doing is just getting rid of the little plastic uh, feathers that, that are hanging off. Um, and here you can see a test fit. Uh, and it looks pretty good. They sit nice and flat and uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. So please join me for the second half of Hydroponic for Beginners. Um, I'll be posting it soon. Thank you. Goodbye.